so Aldo fam and welcome back to my channel on today's tutorial as promised I am going to show you how to finish a mock neck or a turtleneck so if you want to see how keep on watching so the first thing I will do is measure the neckline so I'm going to measure the front neck and the back neck it is about 19 inches now I am going to multiply it by 0.80 equals 15.2 and that is the length of the neckband that we are going to use and here i already cut out the neckband and it is folded in half two inches wide and i am going to cut 15.2 adding about a quarter of an inch seam allowance just because i will be using my serger if you are using your sewing machine at least do a one half inch seam allowance and then i will open the fabric just like this and i'm going to match the side seam and i'm going to serge it on this side After that, I am going to divide the neckline into quarters and I'm going to do the same thing on the neckband. By the way, I folded the neckband in half. Wrong sides of the fabrics are facing each other so it will hide the seam. Since there is going to be one seam on the neckline, I place it on one of the shoulder seam and then I pin it to secure. I'm basically just pinning the quarters together. Keep in mind that the neckband is going to be a little shorter than the neckline, so you're gonna have to stretch the neckline as you sew, not the neckband, the actual neckline of the dress. And then I will sew it all the way around. I will be using a stretch stitch. If you don't have it, you can use just a narrow zigzag stitch. And here I am stretching the neckline as I sew. I have to hold it really tight just because the fabric wants to move. So you just want to make sure that you are sewing three layers of fabrics. After you sewn it all the way around, you can go back and serge the raw edges. But this type of fabric doesn't fray, so I didn't really worry about that. But if you are concerned, you can serge the edges if you want to. And this is the final result. I absolutely love it, especially doing it the first time and it turned out really good. If you want to see the tutorial of how I made this dress and this is no pattern required, I am going to leave the link at the end screen or in the description box below so you can go ahead and check them out. Thanks for watching and I will see you soon. Bye!